You are watching TVC News at 10. The Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development has pledged to work with the United States Ambassador Mary Beth Leonard to strengthen bilateral relations between both countries, especially on humanitarian affairs. And this was disclosed at a meeting held by the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs in Abuja. Miriam Mohammed was there. Since the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, the Federal Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development has adopted an approach to fight it. It is leveraging on the structure of its agencies and programs for advocacy and sensitization to make provisions for food and cash to existing beneficiaries. Also, the ministry in partnership with the Ministry of Education created an alternative school feeding program in line with national policy objectives and international standards and frameworks. The aim is to tackle some pervasive obstacles to assessing education by tailoring delivery mechanisms to suit intended beneficiaries. The ministry and U.S. ambassador are concerned about the risk of vulnerable people in the humanitarian space. But the ministry's humanitarian subcommittee has been engaging with the existing state coordination mechanisms to ensure a specific COVID-19 outbreak readiness and response plan for each camp. It is also working with the United Nations Office of the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs and Borneo State Agency. We talked about a lot of the, you know, the nuts and bolts of cooperation along those, uh, the various mechanisms that help to smooth out bumps and, and how that can move forward and how our work has changed over COVID. This visit is to strengthen partnership and collaboration between the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, Disaster Management and Social Development, the U.S. government, the U.S. aid, and the United States uh, uh, ambassador to Nigeria. Ma the ministry calls for more synergy between Nigeria and the United States. Maria Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.